Zapier versus IFTTT, which is better? Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and for today's comparison video, I will compare Zapier versus IFTTT. This stands for If This Then That platforms and I will help you choose which is the better software to use for automation. So IFTTT or just F and Zapier are two excellent automation tools that can get you linking apps together without knowing a single scrap of code and both offer free plans as well. So here are some of the key differences between these two platforms. So first, Zapier and Ift both have a great ease of use, though Ift is a little better for people who need some extra guidance, Zapier is a little more hands-off. So generally speaking, personal user will do better with IFTTT or Ift, and companies will do better with Zapier, but it also depends on what you're using them for. So when it comes to pricing, if may seem an obvious choice because it's so much cheaper, but Zapier has important aces up its sleeve, making the choice less clear than it may seem at first. So Zapier and if are both automation tools that don't require any coding, relying on graphical interface instead. Back then, if you wanted two programs to work together, for example, have a Slack message sent to you every time a new file gets uploaded to your Dropbox, you needed to write your own script or hope that the developers of the app will did it for you. However, with the development of the IFTTT and Zapier, it's become ever easier to have two or more programs interact with each other to perform basic tasks simply by using this two platform, which is the IFTTT, or I will just call it IFT or Zapier. And before we go any farther, let's first discuss and overview what exactly is IFT. So again, IFT or IFTTT, it stands for If This Then That is founded in 2010, while well, Zapier was started in 2011. So it means that Ift is one year older than Zapier. So Ift is a very powerful, easy to use program that's also cheaper than Zapier, but it has a little less functionality when it comes to business focused apps. However, it beats Zapier by a mile when it comes to social media and smart home integrations. While on the other hand, Zapier specializes in offering not only more apps to link up, but also expanded option for each app. If you need complex automation for a lot of different apps with extended feature sets, like for example, cloud storage and project management for starters, then Zapier is probably the better choice despite the price. Next, let's take a look at the number of automations available for both if and Zapier. So with this, when it comes to number of automation, Zapier is the obvious winner because they have the positively huge library of apps that you can choose from than the IFTTT. Now, how about the number of integrations? So Zapier boasts that it has integration for more than 5,000 apps, while Ift has around 700 apps that can be integrated. So on top of that, Zapier also offers many more options per app, both for when an action fires and what each action does. If you need to integrate a lot of different apps that need to perform many different actions, then Zapier again is the winner for you. So IFTTT may only have a fraction of the app integration Zapier has an offer, but it caters to a different crowd. Whereas Zapier is the buttoned up sibling that lets you connect business-oriented programs, IFTTT hangs a bit more loose and is where you go when you want to automate Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and all of that. Besides social media, IFTTT does a better job connecting smart home devices and other Internet of Things application than Zapier does, and also for a better price. We'll get into the pricing plan soon, so just bear with me for a while. 
So in short, IFTTT is better choice for people that don't want to spend too much and also have more in the way of the Internet of Things apps and smart home stuff to automate. Not to mention social media integrations. So Zapier, on the other hand, is generally a better fit for business clients. And when creating your automations, in Zapier, it's called Zap. And in IFTTT, it's called Applets. But Zap is more easier to use when setting up automation. Zapier is less complicated to set up your own automation task than applets or than the IFTTT. Because inside the applets, you will ask to do something first before you can set up your own automation action, which is time-consuming. So now with the final comparison, we will be comparing the price plan. Both, again, offer a free plans and also a trial free plans to older premium plans. So here you can take advantage of this free plan to explore the pro account and see if which of these two platform makes you feel comfortable using or if which of this platform you feel fits to your needs. So let's first take a look at the Zapier pricing plan. So here inside Zapier, we have the five different plans here, starting from the free plan. It's perfect for individuals who need the basic of automation. And as you can see here, these are the coverage that you can get from the free plan, which is a good features as well included here. And for the next plan, it's the starter plan for $19.99. This is perfect for individuals with simple multi-step automation needs. And by the way, the $19.99, that is billed annually. But if you will be paying just month to month, then it's going to be $29.99, which is very expensive. So the next plan is the $49 per month if billed annually. And for month to month, it's going to be $73.50. This is for the professional plan. Perfect for individual that needs the full power of Zapier automation platform. And the fourth plan is the $399 per month if billed annually and $598.50 if month to month. Perfect for a team. And the last plan is $799 per month billed annually and $1,198.50 month to month. This is perfect for companies or organizations. So now let's go ahead and check the IFTTT uh, pricing plan. So for this one, they only have three different plans here. So they also have a free plan and you will get five applets or five tasks and also a standard applet speeds. And then the next plan is the pro, which is $5 per month. And from here, you can get more, better, and faster applets. So here you can see you can get 20 applets and more. And the last plan is the Pro Plus, which is $10 per month. And it is unlimited applets and possibilities. And you can get all their advanced features as well inside the IFTTT platform. So it's up to you if which of this platform you think fits to your needs. So I hope that you learned something today. And if you have any question, just comment down below. And thank you so much for watching.